how do we combine like term? Well, uh, if you're watching this video, it means that you probably need a little bit more than a refresher. So what does term mean? We'll get to like in just a second. What are terms? They're numbers and variables separated in an equation or an expression by plus or negative signs, okay? Or minus signs, if you would. Um, let's take a look at this expression right here. If there's no equal sign, how many terms do we have? Well, here's a number and a variable. Here is a plus sign, so this is term number one. Here is a number and a variable, so that's term number two. Here is your um, minus sign, so here's your third term right here, which is the fourth. So let's take a look at this one. How many terms do we have? Uh, one. Doesn't matter how many variables or numbers that you have, or even if there are none. Here is term number two, and here is term number three. Uh, how many terms in, do we have right here? Just one, because there's no plus or, or negative signs on there. So how do we figure out what like terms are? Like terms are where they have the same variable. So like 2x plus 5x, they have the same term. Okay, they both have x's. Now, just to clarify, 2x to the second power, well, that's got a little exponent right there. This would not be a like term to these other terms up here. It has to have the exact same variable and the exact same exponent. And then, of course, numbers. Well, 4 plus 3, you've always said that equals 7. Technically, I guess you could say they're terms also, okay? Um, so let's go in and start teaching you how to combine like terms. When you look at a situation and they actually have um, the exact same variable, x to the first power, x to the first power, then you look in front of each term, but you always connect the addition or subtraction sign that's in front of it uh, with the term, and it makes it easy. So this is a positive 3. 3x three plus 5x equals 8x. Nothing special there. So 6y plus 10y. Again, you look in front. That's a positive 6y. This is a plus 10y is 16y. Everybody always says it's so easy at this point. Here's what's about to happen, though. Um, after I show you subtraction, so let's actually look at subtraction right now. Uh, 40g minus 50g. Well, 40 minus 50 is negative 10g. Okay. Now, when we start making it a little bit harder, 3x plus 6 plus 10x, this is where it starts messing with people a little bit. If you had written it out on a piece of paper, you could actually cut them up into little squares and boxes. So please pretend like you've done that and, and we're cutting that up into three little squares. When you go to cut them up though, make sure that you get the sign in front of each term. This would be a positive. So in your mind, you can put a plus sign there. Right here, we got the six plus the plus sign in front of it. And here we got 10x, the third term, but it got the plus sign in front of it. And then imagine if you pick these pieces of paper up and you just move them around. And you said, I'm gonna put down this three X first. And then I'm gonna set the like term right next to it. Let's see, plus 10 X. Okay. So what's three X plus 10 X? It equals 13 X. So after all of that, we know that this right here and this right here is 13x, but what do we have left? This last bit of paper here that would have said plus six, and we just set them beside each other, and because they do not have, because they're not like terms, there's no x sitting here after that six, we just let it sit there. We don't know what it's equal to. Um, you follow all of the addition and subtraction rules like you're used to. Uh, the x or the whatever variable just goes along for the ride. Now, after I teach people this, usually they, they start to take this over pretty good, but then um, when we look at something like this, there's all sorts of problems that happen. 
when you're trying to solve these equations, you need to combine like terms. So whenever I say there's a step of combining like terms, focus on each side of the equation all by itself and pretend it's an expression. So in other words, pretend that the um, equal 6 did not even exist right there. So I'm going to cover that up. And so if I said it didn't even exist, you go, hmm, where are my like terms? Here's a positive 2x. See, that's not a like term because there's no x. But here's a negative 8x. 2 minus 8 is negative 6x. And then I just pull down my plus 4. Then we look over at the right side of the equation. And we go, well, there's nothing else to combine, so I just pull it straight down. And that's the beauty of combining like terms. It takes something that looks kind of scary, and it gets you into this two-step equation world pretty quick. Because here I can just solve and say minus 4, and minus 4, negative 6x equals 2. And then I can just divide by negative 6 on both sides. And even though it's a fraction, I mean, it simplifies down to negative one-third or 0 0.3 repeating. So, I mean, it's a, a pretty uh, easy equation there, but this is why we want to combine like terms. So anytime that you're looking at an equation, you can go through there with this ability and just say, oh, okay, I can add or subtract my like terms together.